Okay, so part three, practice recording the Zoom. Everyone should have a Zoom in front of them. You can try recording, taking a look at it. I don't know if we have time, but uh, if you want to, you can try. Just go ahead, grab one in front of you. It should be on your desk. I'll just kind of go over it with you so we have time. All right, so this is it's a field recorder. It's handy for if you're in the field, if you don't have the time and space to set up a desktop. Um, okay, let me just see here. Yeah. And so you'll notice that these two built-in microphones on the top, that lets you record stereo. Here, let me uh, try something here. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So to turn it on, on the right-hand side, on the, on the bottom, there's a power switch. So just slide and hold it for one second. And then the display will turn on. It might take like two minutes, to be honest. Two mics, so stereo. It's stereo recording. So stereo recording is two separate channels. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to get rid of this grid, but you can kind of see it here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, um, so good thing to know is on the right-hand side, there's a menu button. I don't know if you can see it. And then above that is the scroll wheel. Okay, so you press the menu button, and then options come up. Oops, see? And you just use the scroll wheel to highlight options, and then to select an option, you press the scroll wheel inward. Okay, and then if you press the menu button, you just return to the previous screen. So this allows you to pick different recording modes, adjust the date and so forth. Um, let's just see here. Yeah. And then other important features are on the back side. Yeah, sorry for the grid being in the way, but you'll see a quarter inch screw. So you could mount this on a tripod if you don't want to hold it. And then on the left hand side, you'll see a port for uh, 3.5 millimeter headphones. Okay, so what I would like everybody to do is pre you press the menu button and then make sure you're at the, the first menu screen. Can everybody see? And then scroll, use a scroll wheel to select mode. Okay. And then uh, you press the scroll wheel inward to select the mode menu. And then you'll see there's th three modes. So stereo is is your two channel mode. So that would you can use either these two milk microphones on the top, or you can use external microphones that you plug into in the bottom. Okay. And four channel mode uses both the 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 two two channels on top with these built-in microphones and two external devices. And then mixed track recording that's more advanced MTR. That's if you wanted to. That's more for like musicians. If you want to like play four tracks, separate tracks, and record two separate tracks at the same time. These are ports that you you plug microphones into. Like this one I'm doing right now. I'm actually recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go. Let's pick stereo mode. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Another thing to note is on the right-hand side, there's two volume buttons, plus minus. That changes the volume of the recording, the track itself, and you can go from like uh, one up to like level 100, so mic level. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, how do I get this grid off? Oh wait. Okay. Maybe I have to lean in. Okay. Here we go. All right. Um, and then on the left-hand side, you'll see another set of volume buttons. That's for, for playback when you're listening. But these two volumes are totally, they're independent. Okay. Um, as you can see here, so this, this record button is probably the most important. So it has three functions. The first and foremost function is it puts the recorder into standby mode. Okay. You'll notice that now the ring is is, the, is blinking, and the in the top left corner of the display there's a blinking uh, pause button, and then you can see the moving levels left and right channels, 
Then along the bottom is this, the scale in decibels. And so you want to, ideally, you don't, you don't want, you do not want it to go past the minus 12, because minus 12 is like the magic number. I don't, there must be a scientific reason, but I'm not sure what it is. It's just, for any recording, just at a peak at around minus 12 decibels, okay? Again, uh, the second function of the record button is to start recording from standby mode. Um, besides using the uh, record button, you could also press the play button to start recording, but the device has to already be in standby mode, okay? And then the third, the tertiary function of the record button is to create bookmarks while the device is recording. So that's really handy if you're doing like an interview, right? So before you ask, like especially like a any type of interview, before you ask a question, you press the record button to set a bookmark. So later when you're playing back, you can just skip among the bookmarks to like interesting sections. And uh, what else is there? Okay, so you notice on the, t the two microphones on the top, you can twist the knobs. There's two different settings. There's 90 degrees. You see, you twist them and I don't know if you can see it in part of the grid. You twist them, so you twist both of the mics to 90 degrees, so that's like a 90 degree recording field, so that's perfect if you want to record just in front of you, right? So like, so here's my arms making a fist, right? So I would want to point the mic between the fist, that's the perfect, maybe like one or two feet away. Yeah, yeah. And then if you want to, let's say you're interviewing someone and you want to record yourself and the person, you would twist the knobs to 120 and you would hold it up vertically, so on either side, okay? But again, this is really good. If, if it's a super long interview, you, you probably don't want to hold it for that long. So that's, that's why you want to like plan ahead, right? Yeah, both, both mics, yeah, set them both to 120. Oh yeah, and though on the, uh, also on the left-hand side, there's a, I, I think they mentioned that you could plug in he headphones while you're listening. So that's good if you're out in the field. Okay, so if you want, um, just, speak and if you need to increase the uh the menu the uh oops the recording level buttons on the right side just to get it at minus 12 decibels a b c i would just recommend a b just say the alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m p maybe you could pair up and just start recording do you want to try that just say what's your favorite book so maybe first like hold it the way you hold it, make sure it's in recording mode. And then just uh, when you're ready, press press either record or play to start recording. And then when you want to stop recording, just press the stop button. So we kind of skipped over this. This is just what we covered. Uh, yeah, so again, just to reiterate, if you're using stereo mode, two channel mode, and you want to switch, you want to switch the input like use the, the built-in mics or external mics, you have to uh, press the input button on the right, on the left-hand side of the front. So mic, if this button is lit up, if you can see, this is gonna use the two built-in mics. If you use, you press either the one or two, that's telling the device to use whatever, to record using whatever's plugged into the bottom. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's see here. Now you wanna know how to transfer files. That's important, so. Let's see here, where's the cable? I'll just show you briefly. So basically, you want to, well, it's pretty simple. Let's tell you. So on the, uh, the right-hand side, there's a USB port. Each kit comes with a USB cable, so you connect the cable to your computer, and then using the menu and scroll wheel, you want to uh, go to, scroll to USB mode. Oops, yeah, USB mode, and then, um, where was I? Not shooting. And then your device should eventually recognize the, the device. It'll say H4N SD. You can use cable, or if your computer has an SD card slot, you can remove the SD card, which is on the right-hand side, this little flap here. And then regardless, it will show up as H4N underscore SD, and then you'll see three folders at the root level, each folder, one for each recording mode. So F4 channel, uh, 4CH, MTR, which is mixed track recording, and stereo. So if you want, you could try it now. You could connect the uh, USB 
connect connect the H4N by USB cable to your computer. So again, as you can see here, at the root level, there's three folders, one for each recording mode, and then each primary folder will have 10 subfolders, folder one through 10. So you just copy and paste to wherever is the community. Just here's some resources on the H4N. So we have a guide on the website that we created. You also go to the Zoom support page.